Good day. Today we are continuing on with my oxygen not included game. All right. Now, uh, thank you to those that, that hinted away at what I need to do here. Uh, so I think first and foremost, uh, some suggested that I actually need to change the the what this is made out of. That heat is going to be a huge thing in here. So this actually should be made of steel. It started off as as iron. Um, some of this I don't mind the discovery of, of seeing what happens if it's the wrong thing. Uh, but I will insulate that room at least. Assume that room doesn't need the insulation, it'll just be this one. Um, I did also see someone comment to say that this room should be full of water. Which it has a... Um, I'm just going to deconstruct that door for now. With, with this thought in process. Which does make me wonder if I'm misunderstanding the way that this is working. To me what's happening is that there's going to be... Um, Cancel those, deconstruct those to put the door in there. We'll just put the door higher and they can come down the ladder to get in there if there is going to be water in here. For me, the way that I was understanding that this would work was that the um uh that there would be a that it would be the water's coming in, it's sort of like fanning off the water from there, and then so steam's getting created. Now assumedly if that steam is cooling too quickly, then then yeah, we're gonna see that end up in the um in this room so i guess the idea that there's some sort of lip and we're not just going to have water running down is probably a good idea um but yeah otherwise i would have thought it was just this water coming through so i guess we'll find out the other thing i need to think about here is that this um this water does have polluted water in it, so I need to clean this water at some point. I think this water could potentially just end up in here. It would just have to go through, it would just have to come from this to a, um, a cooling section and then out. Um, now part of what we were doing was, i am probably put that cooling section just here. Part of what I was doing here was trying to make this all internal. Because uh, that's where we're basically just going to have uh, just extend this water onto so that we can have a huge pool in here. So the first thing that I suppose we could do is we want to lock this section off to the outside world. Now, there is some polluted oxygen in here. What we'll start with is we might just take this, we'll copy that and we'll build that there so that we can continue to work out here but what we're going to try and do is isolate the inside for now. Once that's built, we'll unlock that door. Actually, we could probably just deconstruct that door and then we'll try and knock out as much of this um, granite because that can be say, a location of another bedroom. Um, oh, Meep, that's a hot room. Didn't check to see if Meep was sleeping all right. Uh, I was also suggested that since Meep's also come in, and I guess since um, Nails and Camille have also come in, I haven't rechecked the schedules. So let's see how many people we've got working the same shift. So we've currently got... These two guys are working on this one because they've got... They just need the... No, Turner needs the extra morale, I guess. And then we have... These guys are, are working offset to everyone else. So we will divide this a bit more so that we've got more people working um, in this second shift. So let's go. Ashcan can come down. Move May down. And we'll get Meep down there too. So it's a five and five split. Rowan and Travaldo, who probably don't even need to have the extra sli uh, the extra rest anymore. Let's just um, could rename these schedules a bit better than just default schedule and default schedule. Let's move the two of them into those two. Uh, it does have the offset of two hours. We probably could could shift a bit more, put a third one in there. And it's got a huge downtime. Let's uh, let's shift Turner into one of the top ones as well. They've been around for so long. I can imagine they've got a bit more of an attribute bonus, so they might be happier about their place in the world. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is deconstruct that tile there. We are still waiting for 
lead for those wires. Do we need lead made? Uh, lead something I just make? What do I do with lead? Or do I just have lead? Casual 145 tons of lead around. What's this guy doing, by the way? Wow, look at that, the build up there. Let's let's get all that cleaned up. Really smashed out. also waiting for the lead. Um, I'm certain I did this because this was where the question came up of, of do I think lead pencils are made of lead? Where is all my lead? It is metal. So much iron ore around everywhere. Got a ladder down here, we may as well just ask him to dig out all this cyan ore. Yeah, it was down here, right? I think that was one of the things. Yes, all the letters down here. This is stuff near the actual top, so let's just ask him to get that out, that stuff out. Into that one, into that one. Sheep's down here already dug out though, so I'm just gonna brave the journey down into the boiling hot uh, oil to get it. Alright, cool. Ash can's at least got some of it going. Uh, currently has an empty pipe. That's okay. So, what we want to have then... Now, uh, it was mentioned as well, this guy takes up a fair bit of... Um, power. So I assume ultimately what we want is him operating off of power of the steam turbine. We probably want to use this guy off that turbine as well. There's a little bit more setup that we've got to this, but to start with, I assume we want him just kicking off by using this conductive wire of, of what's already connected. Um, right, so we want another water sieve. We want him to sit somewhere like there. And it's good to see that he actually will fit into that spot. I don't really need to have him any further away than that. Let's put him down one. Put him there. Put a floor underneath him. Then we will deconstruct uh, the plumbing that's currently running underneath him. That one. From there, we then want that same plumbing. Um, I don't know if it really needs to be insulated beyond there because it's Still have water come all the way down. I'm just annoying that anything, because look how much useful water this all is that's just running down. Just if ultimately it gets down into um, some useful places. That one, not so much. He needs power. Okay. Why are you claiming you've got no power? He's also saying he's got no power. Did he, uh... Did I disconnect the wrong cable somewhere? Let's have a look. I thought I was, um... Just cutting that, but maybe I've cut more than one. Our cables.
And the power cables all seem to still be there. Although this guy's off too. That's just he's off at the moment. Give him a little bit more priority, fellas. Stuff here means that when they come down, they can walk this way. So what we could do is dig this out, try and get this water to pool in the same one spot. I mean, we could also achieve that by just going, uh, putting a tile there and asking them to dig. Let's keep that. Let's dig straight across there. They can just run down. We'll ask them to mop up anything they can get there. So then what we would do is it would go through the water sieve nice and cool uh, and then we can then pump that straight in here. I was going to say that that could cause problems because um, there's nothing that's going to be sort of monitoring how much fluid is coming in here but I don't think it'll matter too much because the same amount of fluid basically is heading out that way. If this runs out of water. Sorry, if this guy's not pumping water, then it's unlikely this guy's retrieving water as well. You can see that some water is coming from in here and he's almost out. So I wonder if... I, I mean, I could have this water just try and pump into here, I suppose. Like, if I pump them into this, this tube right here, it would mean that they would go through this water sieve problem is that that would stop at the point that this stops. Does that matter? It might not. Because, I mean, if we're about to open this guy up to all the way out here, this might continue to pump for a while. It would just be that we basically want... We don't want this guy operating through this system unless the other, the other way is stopped. Or we could even just say that we don't, we just disable him. If we disable that building, and then instead we cancel that building, we can deconstruct that there. We take our insulated pipe, and we need to get to here. We'll look at our plumbing layout. So that's currently being used for nothing. Except for this guy. Okay, so that is in use. Just that that's weird. So we can appropriate a lot of this. Let's go um, deconstruct, and we're doing liquid pipes only. Construct that and that. Wait, not too far. Uh, let's cancel those ones. Get rid of those ones. Then what we want to do at this end is we will say uh, put that liquid bridge back in place. We'll have this be insulated pipe there. This can then run to this point here. Um, doesn't need to be insulated anymore. Have this just run straight down here, go into the floor, all the way across to there. Uh, we can then ask that to liquid bridge, make sure it's facing the right way. Yep, liquid bridge there, and then liquid bridge there. That. Actually, I can't cancel that pipe. Because that guy does operate everything else too. We also don't want this pipe going that way. So maybe what we want to do is 
enable him, deconstruct that. Let's put a nine priority on this deconstructor, so let's put an emergency on this deconstructor so I can get it done. Great, thank you. Uh, copy and do that. Now we can also ask that to be blocked in and again we might give that one some priority. Right, and then we can ask them to deconstruct that door. Yeah, that. Those. <clears throat> Lime. 14 science. <clears throat> I mean, she's not much much at anything, so let's just take some lime. So I'm just block that section off. As long as you two are happy out there, as long as you don't go diving into oil. We'll ask you to move back in. Really interesting watching the water sort of like slowly move that it's still so high at that end even though it's this low at this end Not a deconstruct request that's a dig request okay and um move all this debris no liquid output So I assume this liquid output, we just need to connect to that liquid output. So we will go um, plumbing. Drop him down, straight across. Get him to bridge over that. Run into that. Uh, we then need to get him on the power system too. No, that's output, isn't it? Cancel that. I always forget that when I'm building my um building my power generators and I'm not giving them power, they're supplying power to everyone else. Okay. So your little power setup it should be similar to this one so we'll put um this a smart battery we'll do this up here so firstly i guess what we'll do is just ask them to dig one of the section out Seven degrees. I wonder if maybe what I should do is 
get someone to go up. I'm gonna I'll close this section off. What I need to do is insulate those tiles as well. I did like this. There was a suggestion too that what I should do is dig out that. To allow airflow to move up here a little bit more too. It's worthwhile move. All right, what else have we got going on? So none of these, I guess those have been sitting there waiting for somewhere to go for the longest time. No liquid intake into this thing. Again, let me, this has created more oil in its brief period than these guys have been doing. I mean, this is almost just like having a farm, I suppose. They're not really sell tickets to it. That's about all we're going to get out of them. You're not looking too great there. Turner, is that what happened when you went outside? Cool. Alright, so we can see that that water is now running down this way. So, it's in part going down here in a... Oh, Barney. Alright. I wonder if the easiest solution here is we just ask Barney to dig those. You're out, buddy. Can breathe that? Okay. <laughs> Run, buddy. There's so much natural gas down here now. There we go. Go relax or something, Barney. Yeah. Burn it. I actually didn't lo like lower this as much as I was expecting it to. Well, I've got that still unsigned. So, I mean, I guess what we'll do is we'll ask them to dig. It's going to sort of blood for a while, isn't it? Uh, let's ask him to dig this out to make that a little bit more so they can't even get up there. Let's build a ladder up that way. Last them to dig to get this oil to go down that way. Cancel that for now. We don't want to just allow more oil to come down this way. Well, let's see if we can move that stuff first. Well, there's no natural gas in here at all. A lot of water, though. I've got some of this water... It's just getting down here and then rolling this way, whereas a lot of it is then going into here. I suppose what we could do is try and encourage them to roll down this hill this way. Once it is, then we can... Um, sort of have it roll down into that and just pull into that one too. Alright, that stress is starting to go up. Now it's Barney though, so that's fine. That's, that should just go away from not dying. Um, She came back up this way. I was going to say, oh, May. No, not there, buddy. We, we clean this up before May wakes up. We don't need her finding out what she's done. Scrub, Travaldo, scrub. <laughs> I've forgotten to check to see if he is sleeping fine. I think he is. Ok, 
getting no power. This guy's not operating on. Great. All right, we've dug that out. Good. Um. So what we want is we'll put that smart battery there, and then I suppose we can just put our large transformer. Uh. Yeah, we don't have to be too creative with it. Then just run a productive wire. Button up. That guy runs to there. Just wait to that guy. What we actually might do is cut this off here to allow this guy to look after him. And then this guy can be operated by this guy. I mean, that combustible liquid, is that just being pumped to him directly? Why do we not have liquid pumping? Is it just we need someone operating this? Maybe I do need more people if, um, if I've got these many jobs that are just not being looked after. This is in dire need of... It's probably why that one at the top's looking so good. A few hundred kilos of water there. Not, um... It's not dirty at all, so what we actually might do is see if we can get rid of this. That flow down a bit. The point of why that was there, though, is still merited that, um, basically we just want it to stop, like, catch stuff from going down like that, so, like, Camille, just sort of clean that up, move that debris, how is this doing, by the way, Looking pretty good, got water all the way down here, too, I definitely missed what I did to, to cause that. And you notice the change there that I, I didn't say you missed what caused that. It's what I did to cause that because I'm 100% certain that whatever it was, it was something I did. Usually is. Must have been ice maybe that we got. Yeah. Based on there being water all the way up here. I'd say we I got ice. Got about moving it at any point. Now we just have liquid all the way down the I mean, this is getting nice and full, but at the cost of this guy being near empty. But that should change once we've got this guy operating. Put two more bins in here. Alright, so his automation wire will go from him to this guy. In temperature below 125 degrees. Are we ready to turn you on? I have these guys set to. I suppose what I can do is just say settings. And I mean, while they're using this guy, I don't really want to interrupt him. Let's just shove um, let's connect this guy straight there. We won't disconnect anything yet. Let's basically allow um
allow them to both sort of run those lines. What's up with you? Hey, are you happy? Very tired. Just hungry. Oh, she's super focused. And once we've got that one square built, I guess we can turn this thing on. Fills liquid pipe through it, but outputs heat. It's immediate vicinity. Over heat temperature 125. That's a good thing. I mean, it's not that the liquid pipe's running through the base, but if I had that pipe run through the base, it could have actually done a nice job cooling everything, right? Whereas in the process it's going to go through, actually, it's going to go through my, um, my really slow reservoir. It's only going to take so much water for it. A waste. Hmm. Talk to me about this other one. Alright, what if I, um, if this catchment instead was used to connect to this, but then this guy was used to go through this one, he was pushing out all of this stuff, but then also he had a, he had a push into here, and I mean, can I, I can automate a, a vent, can't I, a liquid vent? can. So what I could do is have a vent sitting here that closes. Alright. It'll, what it'll do is it'll limit the amount of, that I'm using this, which is reference at this point, because I don't think that I'm getting enough polluted water. So let's revisit the plumbing. Alright, let's cancel that one. No, deconstruct. Right again, plumbing. Deconstruct. That guy. Deconstruct. That guy. Yeah. So now we go plumbing. We connect that guy to there. We run this guy down. Up. And then we put a liquid bridge that runs like that. Then we go plumbing. Out of here, so we can just liquid bridge it over the top. Oh. We just go O. Maybe the best spot for that to fit that they can actually reach while working on it. Because if we go. Ah, let's just do it over this side. So we'll go O. That'll be the vent. An overlap. Okay, so let's go there. Uh, let's go plumbing. That. Um, 
and then we want to go... So we want to just copy this setup. And it is um, automation. We want an automation wire from that guy to that guy and that guy to that guy. And then also we'll just ask if someone can build a ladder straight up there. Falling asleep periodically is not great, so let's uh, we'll cancel that. We'll just grab that one. How's our mate doing? Me, how you doing? Athletics four. Oh, we got a spore child seed. First one. Everything's looking almost right. I think the only thing stopping us from turning it on is currently this, this like final setup at the end of the the line. Is that just complaining that there's nothing connected to it? I assume that's... yeah, yeah. What a great place to be breathing down there. Is that somewhere... That, can I put a, um... Blots liquid flow without abstracting gas. What happened if I put, like, say, some insulated like got rid of the insulation down here and just put one of those airflow tiles in this. I mean I realized that if I did that for that brief moment it would then um what I could possibly do then is deconstruct that. How long you got one day left of it? And I'd say you'll make it. Okay, so we'll copy the settings of him onto that guy. Let's um, stop the priority of these just so that we get this done. So the idea is that this cold water is going to just go straight into... Um, it's going to be used to supply a lot of other stuff as well as the help in this resupply. I mean, this guy will will also continue to work in the slow process as long as this is um, is empty. Actually let's put a tile there so I have concerns that if this hatches, like if, if this one stops but this one keeps going for a little while this could overflow but if we have that there it can at least go a bit higher. Get that one done. That's copper. Let's cancel. Have you got copper? Oh, well done. Okay, so now in theory, if um, if that feels water, that should close that. Okay, and that means that we should be able to turn this guy on. as these guys have power. 
and how efficiently is it going to work? I guess we'll find that out next time. <laughs> so uh, till then, I'll uh, I'll catch you later. See ya.